do Selena Gomez and this is the hairstyle that I decided to do. A really cute look that is appropriate for school or work. It's not too much whoa. Hey there. A little subtle glamour kind of look. So um, what you're going to need are a teasing comb. I got this at Sally's Beauty Supply for about $2. Rat tail comb, make sure it has this end right here. Again, Sally's Beauty Supply for like 50 cents. You're gonna want a brush. You can find this at your grandma's drawer. To curl your hair with a curling iron, I got a wider barrel. This one is Conair's Instant Heat, and it is one and a half inches, so it's a little bigger. And this one you could get anywhere. I got this one at Walmart many years ago and I still love it. For hair products, I'm using Retro Chic's Gloss to protect my hair from the heat and also give me the shine. I'm using Bubble and Bumble Does It All Spray and this is um, my favorite working spray for whenever I'm teasing my hair. These are both from BeautyChoice.com and I'm using Kenra's Platinum Hair Spray and this is a maximum hold finishing hairspray so I could party the night away and my hair is still looking glamorous by 3 o'clock in the morning. So I hope you guys enjoy this hair tutorial. So as always we're starting off with a heat protectant. I'm using Retro Chic's Gloss. I'm going to apply just a little bit to the palm of my hand and spread that evenly throughout the hair. Section off our hair so we can start the curling process. Now we're going to take our curling iron and place it to the middle of the hair, curl it outward, open up the barrel, and then keep curling. Just like that. You're going to leave this on for about five seconds and then release. Now once you get to the top layer, you want to make sure that you're not curling all the way up to the top of the roots. So I'm just going to part my hair it's about here where Selena's hair is parted as well. And I'm going to take a section, start up the middle, and just bring it down. So see how I'm leaving about three inches from the roots? Now that all my hair is done, I'm just going to run my fingers through. Now, Selena has lots of volume in her hair, and this is just not going to cut it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and tease our hair a bit to add some volume. I'm going to start in the back right here, taking a section, spray right at the roots, and then my teasing comb, and just start teasing in the back. You guys see that? Alright, and then pa bam. I'm gonna take one more section behind it and add on to that tease. Just for a little extra support. <laughs> so I'm sectioning off the front. Spray and then start teasing. Very lightly. Okay, kind of got this going on. <laughs> I feel like a cartoon character. I've, you know, that cartoon character in Hercules? I think that's the cartoon. And just keep adding on. Don't worry, you might be afraid right now. <laughs> Ta da! And then we're gonna tease our left side. 
I'm taking my brush and I'm going to smooth out the surface. Brushing the curls to create waves. So just brush through it. So take your two bobby pins and we're just going to pin this hair back on the left side. So we're just going to take a section of hair. This much should be good. I'm going to pin it back. So taking my first bobby pin, I'm going to pin it down. Then you're just going to cross it. Now I'm going to take my finishing spray. I'm using Kenra's Platinum Spray and number 26. This is maximum hold, guys. We're going to spray up the roots because I want to keep that volume. Right, while my hairspray is drying, I'm going to lift up my roots a little bit using my rat tail comb. Make sure that this hold stays. And there you go, that's pretty much it for my Selena Gomez hair tutorial.